delightful. We have a new trail that we're building. It's going to be the Bobcat Trail. Uh, you can start walking on that one. But we have wonderful trails down to the pond, a lot of nature. Uh, nice. We recently went there with Nature Nuts, and we saw a geese, a heron. Um, there's a beer in the back. It's really, it's unbelievable. It's fabulous. Oh, that's great. So, but our programs, we have many, many, and we have, um, we're here today to introduce the new Young Mountaineer nearing program and Sophia is joining that is for grades one through four and we also have a new family programs that we're introducing as well as a new backpack program which I'll go into details but of course we have all our nature programs and adult courses and on and on and on. You know I think it would be easier if we just talk about what you don't have. I think you know, it'd be <laughs> a much true. shorter list. It's than, true. You know, this is what we're not doing this year <laughs> and uh, now we're done. But uh, there yeah. is so much going on. So what's, what's the first one you want to talk about? Uh, I think what I'd first like to talk about is the Young Mountaineers because we have Sophia here and she could talk about summer camp and about the, she can even talk about Nature Nuts because she's been to on that before. On and on. <laughs> <laughs> on and on and on. So Sophia, what, have you, what did you do this summer? Obviously you got involved with some stuff this summer. What did um, you do? I learned about Stones and Bones with Carol and I did farm camp and um, nature nuts, I think. Yes, nature nuts, and those were really fun. Oh, I bet those were a lot of fun. Then did you start off at I, I call it bug camp. I don't know what it is. The one for the you know the preschool. Um, all my kids have gone through bug camp, so that's what that was our introduction to uh, Tin Mountain. And believe it or not, I had Rob's son, his oldest son, and we were in Tamworth at the time. Yeah. And there was a white pine tree, and he used to call it the tickle bush. <laughs> and every time he went by it, he would laugh. So now he's in college. Now he's in college. <laughs> I think he still does that. But, it, but, you know, I think it's one of those things that, uh, you know, he's a guy and actually all my kids have, have a great love of nature. And we've supported that. But I think being involved with the programs that you have, uh, both uh, through the camps and also in the schools, have really made them appreciate what we have right here. I mean, you must love it. You live right here. Yeah. Uh, and so you're part of, you know, there's a, is that a picture of you? Yep. Look right at that. There. Huh. Get your water bottle, you're all set. Now, where are these pictures taken? Well, the first one that you saw, that was Tim, uh, Sophia in the Stones and Bones camp this summer, and that was in Albany at the, uh, we have the oldest barn in Albany, 1820. And they have, um, uh, and that's Sophia at farm camp. She started off really young. But the other picture of the children above Alpine, uh, above, in, on the mountain, uh, that shows that the older children will start doing hikes to the top of Mount Washington, They'll do canoe trips. It's really a phenomenal program. And as you said, they carry it through with them all their lives. So it's an appreciation of nature. You know, it was a philosophy and mission of our organization. And it's a simple one to build an appreciation of the environment through hands-on learning. And we just wanted to show that this is really true and it, right. it does work. And, and, and it's right in our backyard. Right I mean, in our that, backyard. That's the beauty of it. So. Yes. Now let's talk about that backpack program because you started to tell me about that. That yes. sounds really neat. Yes. We uh, have a wonderful grant from the um, Woodbury Gibson Foundation as well as the Goldberg Foundation to build some family programs. And we have the Young Mountaineers, as I mentioned before, which is the Saturday Nature Club. But we're also going to have a program where uh, families can take out a backpack and there will be nine different categories. One will be on insects, one will be on mammals, one will be on plants. And I can give you a whole list of that. Just call up the um, uh, Tin Mountain, 603-447-6991. You could also go on our website. We're in the process of building those. Um, uh, Nora Dufalo is on our staff and she was able to get backpacks from L.L. Bean and they say Tin Mountain on the top. Right. And you could take a backpack out and there'll be binoculars and um, magnifying glasses and subjects and games that for each individual topic that you can take out as a family and play and use on your own and oh, then return it so someone else can use it. So it'll be like a lending backpack. Yeah. Yes. What a lot of fun that is. It is a lot of fun. You know, because you, know, you want to do that stuff, but it gives you kind of like the little head start to, to do some of your exploring. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's, have you taken one out yet? Well, they're, they're not done yet, but I, I bet you're going to be first in line for those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sophia, we might tell you a little bit about what they did for the Young Mountaineers yesterday. Uh, she was there with a, a, quite a few children, and yeah, what did you I was do? There with a couple of my friends, and um, we built fairy houses, and um, we learned what bears eat. Um, hopefully, hopefully, bears don't eat fairy houses. That's what no. I hope. Okay. No. <laughs> um, 
You're talking about how animals prepare for winter? Yeah, and we played some really fun games, and um, we had to find the shelters and keep all of our um, keep all of our food in for winter. It was that was really fun too. So you were foraging. Well, mm -hmm. very cool. <laughs> so now you know how to forage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's terrific. What else do we want to throw out, Donna, about Tin Mountain? Well, in our nature programs right now, we have a great program coming up. It's on bald eagles, and that's with Chris Martin from um, New Hampshire Audubon Society. And he's going to be talking about the status of the bald eagle in New Hampshire, as well as success story in terms of its comeback. It was endangered in the state of New Hampshire, and now it is threatened. And he's going to talk about conservation efforts and uh, different locations where eagles are, what ages they are, and that's going to be November 3rd at 7 p.m. at our center. We also have an alpine ecology course with local Brian Fowler, geologist, and he's going to be talking about the alpine area, and that's coming up also. And the date for that, let me just put on my glasses at this point in my life. That's what we have to do. I know. It's been fun. Um, going through all the progressions. As soon as I thought I'd be ready to do my artwork, it's like, okay. <laughs> but um, that is coming up uh, Thursday, November 10th, and that's 6 to 9. And if you have any interest at all on the geology of the area, especially up in the Alpine area, Brian is great. He's very knowledgeable. He just uh, designed a wonderful geological map that we're selling at Tin Mountain. Uh, that's good for the novice as well as the experienced geologist. Oh, that's great. Yes, which is good. And then uh, every second Thursday of the month, we have the Eco Forum. And this month, we're having the state of, well, it'll be November, the state of the New Hampshire loon population, which will be really interesting. And that's from noon to one. And we have, thanks to Flatbreads and the Met Coffee House and Rock Mountain Bakery, free pizza and uh, free coffee as well as wonderful desserts and a great program so if you can take a lunch break uh, i really recommend that and come so and see that down program there. Yes. now the great thing too about all the tin mountain programs is they're open to everybody, everybody. Um, whether you're a member or not but hopefully you'll want to become a member because you know you save a little bit on the program some of the programs become free and uh and that's kind of a, a neat thing plus you're supporting tin mountain so that's really the the best reason to become a member this is true and i'm glad that you brought that up because we just started our annual drive and uh, we'll start putting that around the banks too so if anyone wants to support what we do we really appreciate it. it's how we can maintain these programs increase the programs it's a grassroots organization that started 30 years ago in jackson totally embraced, embraced by the community. Our naturalists are in all the schools. It's a great philosophy. We have college students writing back and saying how wonderful it is and what an experience. Many are going into the field uh, to preserve the environment, and especially with climate change right now, it's nice to see really active individuals in the field. So. It's great. Such a great program. Thank you. So to find out more, the best thing is to, is to start on the website, mm -hmm. which is tinmountain.com. Org. Org, and okay. it's spelled out now. Uh, it used to be uh, shorter, but now it's Tin Mountain, spelled out, dot org. And we have a calendar with all our events. You can find out who the staff is. Uh, our director, Mike Klein, does a wonderful job. He's a forester. We have a 1,000 acres of sustainable forest that he's working with. And Lori Kinsey, our educational director, has been there for many, many years and uh, is an inspiration. And we have new staff. We have a wonderful young woman named Caitlin and she is working in our schools right now and doing some after school programs and she's doing a great job, yeah, Caitlin absolutely. Crowley. Terrific. And then we have outreach coordinator and Susan Beans, our grant writer and Nancy's uh, bookkeeper. It's a small staff and we do a phenomenal amount and uh, it's well appreciated in the community. And that's great. And you can sign up for their emails, which I get. Yes. So go to tinmountain.org and find out all the great things that are going on there. Of course, we always talk about them here on White Mountains Today too. So Donna Dolan, Sophia, Thanks so much for coming down. You want to say any last thing, Sophia? No. No, she says. <laughs> we'll be back here.